We are really good. We are the Marie. The cut queen, yeah. She got what you need, yeah. You know what I mean, eh? We are the Marie. The go to stylist. Get you like a diamond. Everything is live with We are the Marie. Free cry. Alright guys, so we'll be back with another client tutorial. So, as always, I'm going to start off by molding the brows down so they will not be in my way. I'll be taking my City Colors Be Bold Brow Soap. The same stuff that I used in the last tutorial. And I also use it myself now because like this is my second favorite. And then I'm just going to pat them down. So basically, we're doing the same steps and I always do the same steps that I do with me or my clients. Then stepping that powder into the brows, what you're going to do is take a fluffy brush and you're going to wipe that powder away, okay? It's time to fill those brows in, which they barely don't need any filling because our brows are really thick. And this is where I really want to be with my brows. And like I said, the Myel Pills is helping y'all, so I am steady taking them and they are growing my brows like crazy. So I am taking my Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil in the shade um black brown it's the mvp brown mvp and then i also went into in the front with my brown pencil for my line so go follow at be fierce beauty on instagram and flicking those hairs up y'all like i said i just filled the top and the bottom fill it in just a tad bit because you don't really need to fill it in For concealer, I did go ahead and take my Too Faced Multiscope Concealer in the shade Butterscotch and my 252S brush from MAC, as always. And then on the top, I'm going to take my 212 brush and to buff it out, I'm going to take my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. Y'all yeah, just love when I show y'all my client tutorials and then the brows are like the most important ones, okay? So you have to see how I scope these brows out from beginning to end, okay? So these have to be in there because if not, then I'll just start with just shadow and move on to the face and stuff. But this definitely has to be in the tutorial because it's just so important, okay? Brows is like the main factor of your face. Alright, moving on to base. I'm going to take my P. Louise. As always, y'all already know I'm not using no other base but P. Louise. If y'all do purchase from them, use the code B. Marie. And then I'm going to go into my first shadow, which is from the 39A palette from Morphe. And I'm just tapping this on the outer V area. If y'all have a moment to screenshot this, please screenshot this to see exactly what I'm doing. This part is very crucial. Like when I say stay low, I mean stay low. But also pack that shadow on and make it, just have fun with it. Don't... It's so hard to explain sometimes, but you have to stay low in order to forget every shadow that you want on this lid, okay? You don't want it to be muddy. You want to make sure everything is blended. So I'm just tapping it as a C shape at the very last lash on her um, lashes, on her real lashes. So you just tap right there. Don't go out. Her eyelids are 
are big, but she does have hooded eyes. But I'm going to keep this all in a C shape. And then I'm going to go on top with the second shade. The second shade is a shade out of the 39A palette. I don't know the names, um, but if you all want to know, I will definitely link it or I will answer y'all comments or I will post it in this tutorial. But I probably won't have time, so if y'all want to know the shades, let me know because I do have another client in like the next, what, like 20 minutes. So I'm just basically blending and all of my brushes are Morphe. If it's not Morphe, it's definitely MAC or Real Techniques. Blending is totally up to you whether you want to tap or you want to go in circular motions. Going in circular motions is just going to like airbrush it out. Um, and tapping it is basically going to pack it on. They all like kind of do the same thing. But when you're like going in circular motions, I feel like it blends it out more to me. So I'm just going, on back in, going back in with each shadow. Make sure everything is bold and to the way that I like it. Stand on top of each shadow. Put it more back in just in case I feel like um some is gone and don't mind the black mark or circle that's on here my hair is really bad so i don't want y'all to see that because i ain't got time okay i ain't got time so sorry just look at the face ignore it so with these i do go in and i tap out that concealer on the lid area now what i'm doing is i'm basically adding the second shade on to the outer v to kind of close in that that part where i patted it out you want to close it like almost like a cut crease and then i'm going to add black because i don't know something about black makes the eye look so good and i feel like i murked this look okay if you're from chicago and you know what i'm talking about <laughs> i feel like i murked this look <laughs> okay because baby and my client was really funny like y'all see in the tutorial like we was like really talking and just like laughing like she girl <laughs> You was having a good time. So yeah, y'all. Um, I just went in with that black on the outer V area, and that's it with the black. Then I went back in with the second shade on the outer V area to give it this ombre effect. Okay. Bomb. As you see, I didn't go all the way out with the eyeshadow on her lid area. I just kept it in the center. You don't always have to feel the whole eye with shadow okay always remember that if the eyelids is big you don't really have to fill it out with shadow and i'll be that was my mistake too sometimes i would like okay yeah this has to be filled with shadow so now what i'm taking is a blender brush a fluffy one and i'm taking this new shade out of the 39a palette we were working with the 39a palette and i'm taking that shade on the lid and just basically um fluffing it out then i went back in with the um second shade that i used and blending out those edges again I did take a little white and put it in the inner corner. And then now what I'm doing is I'm taking these two pigments. Um, these are from Unique Cosmetics. I took Lust and I've also took Vanity Throne and I patted this on the lid and it gave it so much of a beautiful look, y'all. It's so pretty. Now I'm taking my wing liner with my liquid liner and I'm making this pretty wing, y'all. This I love this wing. This wing on her was everything. It's from NYX. And then she brought some lashes to me from her line. So those are the lashes that I put on her.
So I did my primer off camera and I'm just going in with the shade Miguel and also Nuka Donya. The same shades I use for myself. Um, I just feel like these shades fit everybody, okay? And I took butterscotch and a little bit of, no, I just took butterscotch, I think. No, I lied. I think I took um, amber. I took amber in the inner corner from L'Oreal and then I took butterscotch. And then I also went ahead and took my ColourPop foundation stick in the shade Deep Dark 210C and contoured the areas that I wanted to, like the nose, the sides, the forehead, stuff like that. A real good brush to pat this stuff out is the Real Techniques 402. Remember that, 402 is a setting powder brush, but we use it to pat out the concealer on our face or wherever you may want to use this at. And I'm just patting this out until I get a smooth, flawless look. And I also went ahead and took my Real Techniques brush in the number 405. That's a bigger brush. And I also use this one for foundation as well. And I pat the sides out. I love these brushes, y'all. Real Techniques is definitely bond with, with these brushes, okay? All right, y'all, so I did take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set all the highlighted areas. Now I'm going in with my 430 Fenty Pro Filter Powder and contouring the nose. So we were just talking about this, like how we got that flawless look to where it's contour. And you have to start off with like a powder your color first and start building it before you put a darker contour on. And in the waterline, I took my P. Louise base. Like I said, go use my code, B. Marie. Okay? The crisp finish um, bases in the shade Flaming Firecracker, y'all. And that just set it off. It really set it off. Then I'm going to go ahead and take these two shades out of the Beauty by Melissa palette, y'all. And I really love this under eye. It's bomb. And to top it off, I used mascara from Benefit as well. So I went in with this blush. And the blush brush that I use, oh, it's, up to, it's from Real Techniques, but um, I use um, Juvia's Place. It's a Hiren Blush Value 1 palette. And then now I'm using my lip liner from Bifiz Beauty. Go follow them right now. And for lips, like I'm, I'm rumbling in my thing, y'all. Trying to, <laughs> trying to tell y'all what I use for lips. I use the Glow Up Academy Soft Matte Lipsticks in the shade Pout Me, and it gave it such a beautiful look, okay? It's not too new, you know what I'm saying? It's like that perfect nude. She didn't want any lip gloss, so we kept it at that. So I'm dusting this powder off, and I spray her face, get it ready for the highlighter. The highlighter I use is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics in Bonafide, Bronzified, sorry, it's about to be Bonafide. And yeah, to top it off, that's what we did, y'all. This look came out so beautiful, and I really hope that y'all enjoy. I really hope y'all enjoy enjoying these client tutorials. I'm talking fast because I got another client. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Ciao.